it putting the positive and people who make a difference. My in-studio guest at this particular time, Kim Streeby. She's here today representing the St. Celia Society. Kim, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I am great. It's so good to finally meet you. I've seen your name all over town. Oh my goodness, okay. Yes. <laughs> Associated with a lot of different things. Yes, yes indeed. But tell us about the St. Celia Society. Absolutely. Uh, the St. Cecilia Society was founded um, 127 years ago in the home of Nellie Bates Dort, who uh, was uh, the wife of Dallas Dort, who was uh, one of the founders of General Motors. And she and a few of her friends got together and wanted to play and perform music uh, for uh, for themselves. And so uh, this group grew to 35 members. And then in the 1920s, they decided to incorporate and become the St. Cecilia Society. And today we are over 120 members. And uh, we are there for the enjoyment of music. We are there to enhance the Flint community uh, with... Uh, musical enterprises in all branches and pertaining to music and activities. That's a mouthful. Yes, it is. <laughs> you have a reoccurring event that happens on Sundays. That's correct. Well, not it, it's sometimes it's on Sunday, sometimes it's on Friday. So this particular one happens to be on Sunday. So, recital. Every month, Saints is at 2 o'clock. So tomorrow at the Flint Institute of Music at 2 o'clock, Flint, the St. Cecilia Society has a free recital that everyone is welcome to attend. Tomorrow, uh, our recital will be three wonderful performing members. Uh, the first one is a wonderful fl uh, flautist, Towns Osborne Miller. She's going to be playing... An eclectic program for us. It's always very, very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Dr. Rachel Andrews from Saginaw Valley State University. She is a brand new performing member to St. Cecilia, and she is going to be performing a program of women of women composers. So all of the songs she's going to be singing are going to be songs by women composers. And then, let, lastly, but certainly not least, is one of our members uh, who has a, is a fantastic soprano, Nancy Dolly, and she is going to be performing some favorites from Broadway musicals, from Kismet to Phantom of the Opera. So it is going to be a varied and fantastic program. You said the Flint Institute of Music. That's correct. And that's located where? That is in the heart of the Cultural Center on Kersley Street in Flint. Free. Free. It would be a wonderful outing to celebrate a veteran. Exactly. Exactly. Because it's art, it's beautiful, you're in... We're in the fall, the leaves are great, and um, it's Sunday, and what better could you do than to come down and enjoy uh, the St. Cecilia recital? What is the duration of the concert? It's going to be approximately one hour. So you're in, enjoy. Enjoy. Sip a little tea. That's right, that's right, and afterwards I didn't even mention the tea. We do have a tea afterwards, so please come. We would love to. Um, we would love to meet you if you're a member of Saint Cecilia. We would love for you to come. Now, when you sip your tea, do you? Is it correct to keep the pinky out? Um, you know, I don't know. I think I, if I kept my pinky out when I sip tea. I would probably drop the cup. So for me, 
That's too much effort. Okay. Mm -hmm. You do a monthly recital. Exactly. So are there 12 recitals? There are actually, let me count them up here, because I just had it on my phone, because you know how we live on the phone now. Yes. We have one, two, three, four. We actually have nine recitals this year. Uh, one has already passed, which is in October, and then we have a recital next month on um, Friday, December 8th at 1 o'clock. We have one in January on Friday, January 12th at 1 o'clock. And then we have two in February, one in March, one in April, and then our final one is on the 4th of May. It sounds like you're fully vested in this music thing. Yes, I, yes, uh, St. Cecilia is, and me most definitely. I've seen your name associated with several other projects, events. Tell us about you. Me personally, okay. Well, I am a singer. I am a wife and mom. I am a choral conductor, and uh, I think I, I, that's about it. And I kind of run around and try to do, try to do it all. <laughs> so. so how does all that fit into your membership with the St. Cecilia Society? Okay, my membership of the St. Cecilia Society, I got into as a performing member. Um, what that means is that um, I'm privileged to be able to perform for St. Cecilia uh, once a year. So I will actually, and actually this year I'll be performing twice. I will be performing um, as a part of my trio, Cantabella, in December. We're going to be performing with some Christmas tunes. And then in January, I am also performing uh, as a soloist. Tell us about the December concert or the December recital. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's going to be a festive time. We are going to be, uh, as I said, my trio, which is also I Am Soprano, uh, Caitlin O'Brien is mezzo, and Jean Weimer is alto. We are going to be performing a variety of Christmas tunes, and uh, we are also sharing that particular recital with Glenn Holcomb, who is a tenor, he is also a teacher, at the Flint School of Performing Arts. He has, he has performed all around the state of Michigan. Wonderful singer, wonderful personality. Mezzo, what does that mean? Mezzo just means medium. It means in the middle. So you're not the, if you're a mezzo soprano, you're not the highest of the high, but you certainly know alto. So it's just sort of like you're in the middle. You're in the middle. Okay. How, how do we secure tickets for any one of your recitals? Well, lucky for you, there are no tickets. You just come. It couldn't be any easier than that. Exactly. Exactly. So? An hour's time, no tickets. What's the dress? The dress is, you'll, you'll see people of all kinds of dress there. You know, I would dress warm because it's going to be cold. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I would that's what I would do. Good point. Mhm. Mm Recap us. Yes, sir. Recap the information that we need to know to be in attendance tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Absolutely. Tomorrow we are going to be having the the St. Cecilia November recital. It is going to be at 2 o'clock at the Flint Institute of Music in the heart of the Cultural Center. Um, absolutely free. We would love to see you. We would love to meet you. If you have heard about us, and if this is the first time you've ever heard about us, please let one of us know. We would love to know how, we, how you heard about us. We would love to meet you, and I hope you can come. And it's free. I've always wanted to do this during an interview. <clears throat> I need a note or two from you. You do? What do yes. you want me to sing? You tell me. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. 
Like that? Yes. Okay. You heard it right here on the Jazz <laughs> Jacuzzi. Kim Streeby talking about the St. Cecilia Society, their recital tomorrow, Sunday, November 12th. Two o'clock free. My last question. Yes, sir. Will they be will there be crumpets with the tea? That I cannot answer you. So I guess you're gonna have to come and find out. She's slick. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the Jazz Jacuzzi, we continue to push the positive and people who make a difference in our community. Back to the Jazz Jacuzzi, 92.1 WFOV. Our voices, yours and mine. Oh, she's rolling.